is it really true that Koreans do not apologize when they bump into you in a tight space? Is it also true that they do not say excuse me when they want to walk through people? To give you the bottom line first, the answer is yes and no. I'm going to do my best to try to explain why that is and I hope you watch this video until the very end because this will give you some cultural insight. So, in order to understand the general nature of the relationship that Korean people tend to have with strangers and why they seemingly don't communicate very actively with them, you need to first understand how much meaning personal space has to Koreans. So I have no scientific data here, but I think it's pretty safe to say that Koreans don't put as much importance on having a lot of personal space as people in many other countries. So it might be due to the environment that we grew up in or the fact that during the fast, compressed economic growth over the past decades, people were just too busy to look around and converse with people that they don't know. But in general, uh, when they are standing a bit close to strangers in a small public place or when they see somebody like walking past them by a narrow margin, it's not such a big deal in general. I mean, nobody enjoys or welcomes it, but people are used to this kind of situation and don't pay very much attention to it. Just busy city life, right? It's just people moving in various directions and crossing paths. So when a stranger passes by me and their backpack brushes against mine, not a big deal, a simple mistake, no harm done. And everything I've just described up to this point is probably not unique to Korea either. If you live in a big city with a high population density, what's it like over there? Let us know in the comments. But what if that stranger that just went past me stops and turns around and talks to me? Then I might be surprised and slightly thrown off guard. And that's because outside of interactions between customers and sellers, like commercial interactions that are necessary, Talking to strangers is almost always an unexpected scenario. So I'm less ready to talk to them than say people in other countries in general. And quite simply, I think I can put it like this. Physical personal space required, relatively small. Psychological distance, in other words, the do I know you attitude, relatively big. Oh, by the way, if you're new to this channel and you're watching me for the first time, you're watching Talk To Me In Korean and I'm Hyunwoo. You can learn more about Korean culture in this video series and you can also learn to speak the Korean language on our website through our full systematic curriculum at talktomeinkorean.com. Come and join us. So going back to the topic of do Koreans really not apologize when they bump into people, my answer would be not entirely. There are certainly some rude people with thick skins who just elbow their way through people, but most everyone does send out a signal of apology or request like 죄송합니다 or 지나갈게요, but much more quietly than you would expect. And there's certainly this awkwardness, um, so to speak, when it comes to the timing of uh, you know, them saying those things because a lot of people actually start moving forward in the direction that they were going in before you even hear them saying 죄송합니다. So we will be like, okay, um, you already went ahead, you're excused. So I can't explain exactly why that is, but this is often how it goes. So an apology or a necessary message or a signal of some kind toward strangers is there when they want to walk through people or when they bump into people. But it's often much quieter and comes at a later timing than you would expect and it might even be expressed through some very passive gestures or even some facial expressions with some inaudible words murmured like like that. But of course, there are people who are really good at doing this too. Um, more and more people, more and more especially young people and more well-traveled people, people who are exposed to other cultures, I think are starting to be better at interacting and talking uh, with strangers. So I don't think it's intrinsically good or bad, but it's a trend that I am seeing these days. So it'll be interesting to revisit this video in 10 years time and see how different things are then. And although I've been saying in this video that people don't tend to uh, actively engage in conversations with people that they don't know, there are many exceptions. More than half of all households in Korea are in apartment buildings, which means many people will run into their neighbors on a regular basis, so they sometimes talk. And if somebody drops something or if they need some help, it's a necessary situation where they need to talk, so they will talk to them actively. 
So I want to wrap up this video by summarizing it like this. In Korean culture, many people are very passive about interacting with or talking with strangers unless it's for a very practical purpose like ordering food or buying stuff. And passive as they may be, a lot of Koreans tend to have some measures to show, like they use methods to show that they are aware of your presence or you know, you're there as a stranger or you did something for them, like holding the door. They have these methods that they use, including saying like, thank you or sorry quietly, or at least appearing through their facial expressions and gestures, thankful or sorry, if you know what I mean. That's it for this video and I'm curious to know what you think. Please leave your thoughts in the comments and subscribe. And if you want to learn to speak Korean, um, you know, not just learn about the culture, please visit us at talktomeinkorean.com and in the comments also let us know what kind of topics you would like us to cover in our upcoming episodes in this video series, 5-Minute Korea. I'm Hyunwoo and you've been watching Talk To Me In Korean. 감사합니다. 좋은 하루 보내세요.